Hi boys and girls, how are you? I'm hiding in here between my little two houses. I hope you had uh, fun making your your house or your superhero headquarter. Um, here's my house and here's my superhero headquarters. And as you can see, I've put in some really cool things. We're gonna do downstairs first. And in the house I have a little sofa, and I have a little cooker and a cupboard and a table and chairs. And then, in the superhero headquarters, I have a time machine and a super death radar that's specifically designed to kill coronavirus. How cool is that? So I'm going to show you how to make these. And as we said in our previous video, all you need is just random pieces, bits and pieces that you'll find around the house. Bottle lids and boxes and cardboard and paper and tubs and all kinds of little trinkets like that and also Easter egg boxes they are going to be fabulous for this so make sure and keep all those don't throw those away okay because they are really valuable resources that we can use so what I want you to do is get all your bits and pieces together and then come back to me so as I say just collect just random pieces from your from your uh, recycle bin or anything that you've left from your Easter egg boxes keep all those and then come back to me in a minute all right Hi guys, okay, so one thing I love about uh, doing how doll houses and making furniture is that you can really go wild with your imagination, okay? Because any little piece of thing, uh, rubbish or a piece of um, random materials can become something amazing, okay? Simple things like bottle caps. So I'm gonna show you what I've done here, okay? So this is just a milk bottle cap and a cork, and that becomes a little table. Then I have more little bottle caps, they're from Coca-Cola bottles, and that's become a little chair. I've just put a bit of cardboard on the back to make a little chair, and I've made two of those. You can make as many as you like. Okay, and you can colour in the, the cardboard if you like, draw designs on. Then I've made a little couch. Okay, and I've got little cushions there as well, little pillows. And that's made from I'm going to show you what that's made from. So I just got a piece of a cardboard Easter egg box and I cut it into a, sh into a chair shape. I'll show you how to make that in a minute. And then these things, guys, these are made from um, a gym mat, okay, that I don't use because I'm not really good at exercising. So I cut it up and I made it into squares, but you can get these in deals for like 150, a whole big, big roll of it. And you can cut them up and make lots of things out of these. So I've just cut them into little squares and just made little cushions for the chair, for the front part and then for the back part as well. And just put them in there. And sorry, it's the wrong way around. And then did two, so I cut four cushions. And then for the arms, I just cut smaller pieces and then go in there. And then I just cut two little cushions from my silver gold fabric to put in there as well. And then I stuck legs on using the same material, just little tiny little squares. And I'm going to show you how to make that in a minute. And then I made a cooker. Now, guys, some of you might have some of this gold foil material that left over from a previous um, kit I gave you. It's great stuff for making furniture. If you don't have it, don't worry, um, because if you live in Salins, I'm gonna come down here so you can see my face. If you live in, live in Salins, just come down, uh, let me know if you're coming down and I'll put some in the collection box outside. If you don't live in Salins, um, just send me your, your um, address and I'll post you out some, okay? Because this is amazing stuff. You can make lots of things with this. And as you can see, I've made my little cooker there from it, okay? And then I've also made a little kitchen sink from it as well. Now, if you don't happen to have this, you could use cardboard, I suppose. You could use anything. Um, just this stuff is really flexible, but you can use anything you want. And as you can see, I've used a little lid to hold my little sink there. So that's that. Now, these things are for our superhero, uh, superhero headquarters. And as you can see, I've made, this is a time machine, okay? Now guys, you can use your imagination in making this. I'm gonna show you how to make this time machine, but you can use your imagination and you can make it in any way you like. You can have great fun making these because 
you literally can do whatever you want with them. I've kind of just made mine like a chair and then I've got some bottle lids and you can see the bottle lids in the back and then I've put some kind of dials, just drawn dials on paper and stuck them in and then just cut random shapes and stuck them onto the front and I got some of that foil. I also used a, sp a, th a spool from thread for the base so that's so it keeps it kind of you know sturdy and then this is our radar our special radar for zapping coronavirus and again you can use your imagination with this I've just put like kind of little radar guns on there and I've used jigsaw pieces here as well and this is kind of like a foil kind of um, radar screen so that we can find the coronavirus and zap it I saw Spider-Man this morning in the supermarket and he said he's going to invent something to get rid of coronavirus. So watch this space, we never know. So I'm going to show you how to make the um, few little pieces of furniture first and then we'll show you how to make these. So our little um, couch, I'll show you how to make first. So you can use an Easter egg box. I have a roll of Easter egg box and I've just flattened it like that, okay? And I've got my scissors. And then I'm just going to cut, um, so this is the flaps, okay? So I just want to cut in about, about two inches in, okay? Not too big, because you don't want it too big for your house. And I'm just going to cut, cut straight down there, like that. I'm going to cut that to one side. So now I have kind of half a box. Now there's little bits and pieces in here that were used to hold the egg in place. I don't really want those, so I'm just going to cut off that little piece there, I just want it plain on the inside. I don't want any of those pieces. I'm just going to cut them off. So now I have, now you might not have those pieces in there, but don't worry. So now I have just a little box and um, I'm going to fold down the pieces again. And I'm going to get my double sided sticker and stick that down. Actually, sorry, before we do that, so you open your box like this, and what we want to do is we want to cut it in half. Now we can make two sofas out of this, so I'm just going to cut it in half. And there, I'm going to cut it in half there as well. So now I kind of have this little thing. So I'm just going to fold it up, put my double-sided sticker in there, and the little flap so that they close up again. And now I have just kind of half a box shape, okay? So what I'll need to do now is I need to just cut a little rectangular out of the side so I have the arms, all right? So I'm just going to, I hope you can see this, guys. I'm just going to cut there and then cut that off. Be careful with scissors, guys, if you need help. Get mommy and daddy to help you. So I'm just going to take that one off and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Key on that because it's not so close for me. I'll take that in there. Okay, so now I have the basis of my couch. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my legs on my couch. Now you don't have to put legs on if you don't want to, but I'm going to. So I'm going to get a little piece of my foam. As I say, this is from an old gym mat that I cut up because I'm absolutely useless at exercising um, or yoga mat. I think that's what they call them. And I'm just going to cut four little little squares, kind of the same size, out of a strip of that. And then I'm going to stick it on, stick those on the bottom there. And we're going to use our little stickies as well, again, for this. But you could use glue as well if you wanted to. So I'm going to put one there. And put another one there. I hope you're starting to see the value of all the things that we throw away. You really never need to buy anything other than glue and paint and stuff. But you really never, you should never need to buy materials for doing art because you'll always find things in your recycle bin that are fantastic to use. Okay, so there's my legs on, okay? So then I'm just going to get my little cushions. Now you can do you can cut it into long strips and just have one there at the back and one at the front. But because I have my bits done sm cut smaller, 
I'm just going to cut them into squares. So I'm going to measure the halfway point and then I'm going to cut a square so that I have two the same size. Now guys, I'm just going to use the ones I already have. So I'm going to cut two the same size and put them in there. Hopefully you can see that. So I have two there like that. And then I'm going to get two more for the back, cut them out to the same size and put them on the back. And you can actually, guys, if you wanted to, you could use, if you have some of the foil that I've, I gave you in the last um, activity, this stuff, you could use this stuff either and then color it in if you wanted to. So now I have my, my two pieces on the back and two pieces on the front. There's a little piece on there that shouldn't be in there. And then I'm going to cut just two strips for the arms. Oh, here's two here. So two strips for the arms and then go in there. Okay. And that's our little couch done. And you can put a little piece of fabric in there or um, cut up a little foil or anything you want for little cushions. So that's the armchair done. And as I say, I've shown you how to do, you just get a cork and you just stick the bottle lid on the top for the table. Use one of your stickers and the chair the same. Just get a bit of cardboard, cut a, 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 any kind of shape. It doesn't have to be carved like that. You can have it like a king shape, you know, a crown shape or any shape. And then just stick it onto the back with your sticker. And there's your chairs. So that's our little um, table and chairs. Okay. And you can make as many chairs as you like for that. Now I'm going to show you how to make the sink and the cupboards and the kitchen cabinets. So what you're going to need is you're going to need just an ordinary uh, lid, plastic lid, or you can use a small little box for this. And as I say, if you don't have this stuff, just use cardboard. So I'm just going to cut the same height as my lid. So I'm going to mark it. I'm going to mark it there and I'm going to cut a strip. And remember guys, you don't want to make these too big because depending on the size of your house, you don't want the furniture to be too big in your house. So that's kind of hiding the lid there. See that? And that's probably a little bit too big. So I'm just going to cut off that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, another slice of this a little bit deeper, a little bit wider. I'll turn this around so you can see. So, or cardboard or whatever you have at home. And I'm going to cut it the same size but just a little bit wider, same length, a little bit wider. So that's the front. I'm going to get my double-sided sticky and stick that on the front of my little lid, plastic lid. And then I'm going to pop that on the front there like that. And then this one is going to go on the top like that. So I'm just going to get my sticky and put it on the lid like that. And then peel that off. And then I'm just going to put that on there like that. So now we have Kind of the basic shape sorry that hasn't stuck very well no so now we have the basic shape and you can decide whatever you can make them you can put a sink in there and a cooker or just cupboards or whatever you want on this one what i did was i reversed um for the sink bowl i just reversed the uh, the gold foil and i just kind of cut a, a, a kind of like a a rectangle shape but I cut off the corners like that and then again I just stuck it down with my double sided sticker and then you can use a piece of the same material for a tap okay so there's my sink and I just cut a little piece there for the tap and again I'm just going to use a sticker and put that on the behind the sink and peel that off and then I can stick my little tap on. Okay, and then you can put a little, a, another one on top there. And then just get a marker. And we know, boys and girls, that we can draw on this stuff with markers. And we're all being very careful with our markers. We're putting our lids back on, so we're being very responsible with our markers. So I'm just going to draw a line then there and across the top there. And then I'm just going to make this into a cupboard. And this is going to be the oven then. So you can actually get another, oh, this will be the oven, sorry. This is going to be a cupboard. And the, the oven then, you should never really have an oven next, or a cooker next to a sink, but it doesn't matter in our little house. Okay, so I'm just going to put my little cooking rings on there for the top of, on the top of the cooker. 
and then I'm going to put my dials here for my cooker and then for the oven I'm just going to cut another square out of that material see the back of it is gold so I'm just going to get a sticker stick that on and put that on there it's probably a little bit too big but you get the picture so there's my oven and there's my sink all right and then you can make other ones as just cupboards if you want so I'm going to put them to one side and then I'm going to show you how to make for those of you who are doing superhero headquarters now guys the, this is really up to your imagination you can do, do these whatever way you want okay because they're going to be your time machine and it's going to be your radar so but the first but you need to have a good base okay so I would look around and you can use bottle lids or you can use little cups or you can use I'm going to use for the sake of this I'm just going to use a bit of a box because I can't find any um oh I'll use a cork okay so I have a wine cork here so I'm going to use this as the basis for, for my time machine. So I'm going to use my cork and then I'm going to get um, a little piece of cardboard or a piece of the foil, whatever whatever way you want to. And then I'm going to, whatever way you want, whatever material you want to use or whatever material is available to you. So I'm just going to make a little kind of a chair out of this stuff. So I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to get a back for this as well. So I'm going to get another piece of that foil. My table, guys, is, is, is in an absolute mess. You wouldn't believe it. Okay, I'll use this because I can't find any. I'll use this. So now I'm going to put the little back on there like that. So I'm going to get my sticky again and put it onto the back of the piece I just stuck down onto the cork. And I'm going to peel that off. And then I'm going to stick that on there like that. So now I have the basic um, chair, all right? But now I'm going to do all kinds of wonderful things around it. So I'm gonna have a look, see. So I have some of this stuff. Um, some of you might have this from a previous bag I gave, but you can use the foil, or you can use the Easter egg uh, foil, um, or tin foil. And I'm just going to cut the shape just to stick on the back. And I might stick that on there like that. And if you wanted to, then you could get another piece of cardboard. Let's see now. Okay, we have one here. Always keep your cardboard boxes, guys, because they're... So this is just a random shape, okay? But I think this might look interesting on the back of my chair there, and I can put dials and things on that. All right, so I'm going to get a sticker. Stick that on there. So now I'm going to get some bottle caps. I have a big one and I have a small one. And I might stick these up here. Get my stickers. How are you finding? Um, are you finding the stickers okay? Or um, do you have any luck finding them? Sometimes deals run out of them, but the last time I went in, they had them. So I'm just going to stick, using my double sided stickers, some bottle caps there. And these could be our dials, okay? for our time machine to tell us maybe what year we're going to go to, to zap to, or um, what place we want to go to. Put one more on. And then you can draw, get a piece of paper, cut out some circles that would fit in there, into those caps. Push out some circles and then you can draw maybe a clock or maybe um, you could draw a compass or you could draw a dial to show what year you want to go in. I'm just going to do a clock real quick here. Actually I'll do a compass, it's easier. So I'm just going to do a compass and then I'm going to stick it in there into the middle one of my dials but you can put whatever dials you want in there so I'm just going to stick that in there you can take your time and do it much better so you can stick dials in there and then maybe you might decide you want to kind of have things coming up here 
So <clears throat> get your cardboard again, have a random shape here. And I actually quite like that little circle because maybe that's where you come out, where you shoot out into the into the future. So I'll stick that on that side there. Okay, so I'll stick it on that. So as you can see, I'm making this up as I go along, boys and girls. Maybe I'll stick it there. You don't have to follow a pattern for this because, as we know in Imagination Station, we love to use our imagination. So you don't have to do it the same way as mine. You can do it any way you like, okay? So now my time machine is starting to look interesting. So I kind of like this thingy here. So I'm going to, you can do that with cardboard or you can do it with your foil. So I'm going to get a piece of that. Put that out. This might be too small, but you'll get the picture. So maybe I'll put it up. Maybe I'll put it there. Yeah. So you can make this up as you go along. And what's beautiful about that is it becomes, I'm just going to use my blue one for this. It becomes your design and not Arty Marty's design. And I switched off. So these are sticky. And that's what makes it much more interesting. So I have my little stickies on there. So I'm going to stick that on there like that. And press it down. So my time machine is starting to look really interesting. And there's my other one. So they're kind of bizarre, aren't they? But you can take your time and you can make it as, as elaborate as you want. Just make sure it fits into your house though. This one might be a bit tall for my house, but this one would fits in perfect. And then the same thing goes with your radar, okay? So what I've done, I stuck on a piece of foil on the back and that kind of helps it to stand up. And then as you can see, I put a lid in and a cork and I just stuck some of this gold stuff. I put some jigsaw pieces on there as well. And these are my little radar guns and the little dials. So guys, you can make it up as you, as you go along and you can see it's just a piece of cardboard on the back. And I'd love, 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 love to see all your designs and your special uh, furniture and your uh, time machines and your cookers and things like that. So send me some pictures and tomorrow we're going to be doing the upstairs of our houses and superhero headquarters so i'm looking forward to seeing your pictures and i'm looking forward to seeing your finished your finished houses so uh, tune in tomorrow okay hope you're having fun guys see you bye